Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can make a team changer GUI in Roblox. I already have a pre-made GUI that you guys can get in the model linked in the description, but if you'd like to make it yourself, all I have is a text button put to the left, then a frame with the visible set to false, with a UI list layout, and then two buttons with the names of the teams I'm going to have in my game. You can really just play around with it to see what you like. First, we need to insert in our teams. You want to go to the model tab and then click service and double click on teams. Then click the plus button next to the team folder that will appear. Add in a team and make sure that the name of the team is the same as your selection buttons in the GUI. You can change the team color to whatever you would like and make sure auto assignable is false. Do this once more for any other teams that you have. As long as you add in all the buttons with proper names in your GUI and in the teams folder, you can have as many teams as you'd like. Now let's add a remote event into replicate storage named change team as well as a script into server script service. We can make it so that whenever the client, which is the player itself, fires off this remote event, they can change their team. So firstly, let's just define our event by going into replicate storage and going to change team. Then we'll do a function event.onserver event colon connect function and then it'll provide our player and team name whenever the client fires off the event. Then we're going to check if the actual team exists inside of the team folder. And if it does, we can set the player's team to the team that they requested as well as load their character once more. I'm also going to add this warning if the script can actually find the team the player is requesting so that you guys can tell if something's up from the output. Let's exit that script and go back to our GUI. Inside, let's add in a local script. Let's get the children of everything that shows up in that frame and then we can just do a for loop that'll scan through every single item in there and check if it's a button. And if it's a button, we can do an on-click event. When the player then clicks that button, we can fire off the remote event along with the name of the button that they clicked. Then we're also gonna add in the code for the text button on the left so that players can open and close the UI. So we're just checking when they click, and if they click, we're going to set it to its current visible property opposite. Now let's hit play to test out our program. And as you can see, when I click on the other teams, I can join them and I'm reloaded into the game. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Have a great day!